So a musical biopic about Mr. Elton John? Let's do this! Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Brandon Avery here and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Rocket Man. I really do appreciate it. Now this film Rocket Man is being directed by Mr. Dexter Fletcher. If you're not familiar with his work, he directed Eddie the Eagle, which came out in 2015 and that film was fantastic. I had a lot of fun with it and it also starred Taron Edgerton as the main character and Taron Edgerton is the main character in this film as well. He's playing Mr. Elton John and he did a great job i'll go ahead and get this out the way his performance was very solid among with everyone else including bryce dallas howard as well and i will be disappointed by at the end of this year he does not get some type of oscar recognition for the great job that he did now this film right here i will say that the trailers can be a little misleading i was going into this film thinking that it was going to be more of like bohemian rhapsody which was one of my favorite films of last year that film was a ton of fun it was upbeat it had a great tone to it great attitude i mean you were just kind of singing and dancing with all the songs that you know and love and while there are a great number of musical elements and songs in this film rocket man it's not not as uplifting as Bohemian Rhapsody. Now that may be my fault of me not tailoring my expectations, but I kind of went into that because of the trailers. And also Dexter Fletcher was attached to that film as well, uncredited. He did finish a lot of the work on Bohemian Rhapsody. But while, but while Bohemian Rhapsody was more fun and upbeat and kind of shadowed a little bit of the things under the table that most people don't want to share, this Rocket Man throws all the negative things that one may consider in one's life and kind of puts that at the forefront. And I just have to give the credit to this film there and also Elton John for just, you know, being that revealing with all of his personal information. Not so many people can do that. And I commend him for trying to make a great film. But is this film great? Well, I mean, there are some great things about it, but there's also some things that makes me want to smash my head into a wall that I just don't understand. Now, if you love musicals, you'll love this film. If you love Elton John, you will love this film. I like musicals. And I'm not necessarily in love with Elton John. I love his music. I respect the man, but I'm not going to say I'm going to buy some tickets to his concerts, you know, if he was putting on a show in Dallas, Texas. So I'm just a little bit conflicted there. When I walked out of the screening and I was, you know, thinking to myself, I don't like this film or that I hate this film. I went on a Facebook and I said that Rocket Man is a mixed bag of brilliance and bullshit. It has a ton of solid performances and musical numbers filled with magic, but the pacing and the storytelling is as smooth as broken glass. And now that I'm actually talking to you, I honestly do still feel that way. But at the very beginning of the film, something that I really does like that I really did like is how it set the tone. You got a be beautiful musical number of Elton John as a little boy, and they're doing something with the colors to where it's color mixed with black and white, but not really. It's a beautiful sequence. I was just saying to myself, oh my goodness gracious, if we just get more of this throughout the whole film, hey, you know, we have a best picture contender, but no, we don't get that. We get a lot of dry moments and roller coaster moments of things going up and down with the tone, and it's just kind of all over the place. But another great thing that I liked about it was when you see Elton John as a little boy playing in his room, you know, as a conductor in front of an orchestra, you know, directing music, conducting music, you see his imagination come to life on screen. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's very enchanting, something that I've never seen before. And I, I love just seeing an uh, innocent little boy on his bed, just filled with joy, with no worries in the world. I mean, it takes me back to my childhood and it's just like, man, I wish I can have those innocent days again. And those are some of the great things in this film. Like I said, I love the performances also by Miss Bryce Dallas Howard. She did a great job. I love how the film dealt with all the demons that Elton John had to deal with. Now, if you know his real life story, you know that at one point in his life, he went to rehab to get everything taken care of that he was dealing with. He was a sex addict. He was a drug addict. He was a shop of holic. He was an alcoholic. He did a ton of things that, you know, he wanted to get fixed. Now, early on in the film, I did not like the way the film was telling the story about him being in rehab and then just telling a story of him going back into different uh, 
uh, flashbacks at certain points in his life. I kind of thought that was a bit jarring, but towards the end of the film, it did come back and circle around to where he had to face all the trials and tribulations that molded him into the man that we all know and love today. That was the best part of the film. It was a, 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 a rocky journey throughout the film to get there. But once we got there towards the end of the film, I thought it was very worth it. Now, as far as the musical numbers are concerned, let's just go ahead and say there were 12 musical numbers in the film. I would say uh, at least two of them did not do it for me. While most of them had a smooth transition of just normal exposition and dialogue and that flowing into a song, there were some points of times where the flow was, it was no flow at all. It, it, it was just extremely jarring. And it's like they just said, okay, stop. Now it's time to sing a song. Start singing right now. And I couldn't get into it. I couldn't enjoy it because half the time I could not even understand the words or the lyrics to the song or what's going on. Maybe if you're a diehard Elton John fan, you can able to pick between the words and the music. But I thought the sound mixing and the sound design and these two key sequences was atrocious. But this film asks you to do a lot as far as your feelings and emotions and how you should just go about it. For example, I told you that this is not a happy film necessarily. And you have one sequence to where he is overdosing on drugs and is about to kill himself and falls into a pool. And while he's floating down towards the bottom of the pool, about to drown himself, we go into a musical, but then the musical keeps going and it transitions to another scene to where he's performing on stage, performing the title, titular song of the film, Rocket Man. And it's upbeat and it's uplifting. You're supposed to be having a fun time, but I'm saying to myself, how can I be having a fun time when this song started out with the man trying to kill himself? I feel horrible right now, so I don't know what you're trying to do to me, film, but I'm not liking it, and I just want you to to stop and i was just also kind of frustrated with a lot of things like the key prominent moments in elton john's life or supposedly so that just get him to the point to where he is today it seems like the film really just brushed over that and really didn't have a strong impact that i thought it would like his real name is not elton john i forgot what elton john's real name is but his name is his real name is not elton john and when we're getting dialogue to explain why he wanted to make this transition to change his name it's just kind of like brushed over or swept under the rug and it really didn't mean anything now i know it seems like i hated this film but i didn't the musical numbers were great Taryn Edgerton and majority of the cast did a great job and I like where they ended up with the story but it was just a rocky journey to get there that I don't want to sit through again I have been back and forth with where I wanted to rate this film whether I want to give it a 6 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10 because while I was going in with my subjective hat and me having to realize okay Brandon this film is not just for you I said, hey, let me put my objective hat on. But there's just some things on an objective level, on a technical level, on a directing level that still does not work for me. But at the same time, I cannot ignore all the good that this film has to deliver as well. So if I had to rate Rocket Man out of a one out of 10, I would give it a 6.5 out of 10. Yes, a 6.5 out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing. Look me up on social media. And let me know down in the comments. Are you looking forward to this film? And what is your favorite musical biopic film? And guys, I just want to thank you so much again for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.